today we are going to discuss automobile wiper and speedometer i am mr nagesh r tambaki assistant professor department of mechanical engineering walchan institute of technology solapur learning outcome at the end of this session students will be able to explain electric horn and speedometer so in this particular session we are going to discuss two things that is windscreen wiper and the speedometer first of all we'll see what is the importance of the windshield wiper so windshield wiper is a device okay you think about it so we we'll discuss what is the importance of the windshield wiper please think on it so here it is windscreen wiper is a device that cleans water snow or mud from the windscreen of the vehicle and it is a small device of the of our car and which will give you a driving and overall safety they can remove rain snow okay the pollen frost and other debris quickly and smoothly at push of button so next thing is that this is the circuit diagram of windshield wiper here the different parts of the windscreen wipers are shown so which will cleanse the water snow or mud from the windscreen of the vehicle thus it ensures proper visibility of the road ahead this system finds application on a large variety of locomotives from vehicles railways to airplanes generally the term windscreen wiper refers to the wipers installed on the front windshield of a vehicle however nowadays rear wipers are also getting popular almost all the modern wipers mechanism employ an electric motor for their operation so however in some cases pneumatic drivers are also used to drive wiper arms some of the primitive designs of the wiper mechanism were hand operated and rain sensing wipers is a recent development in the wipers so what is done in this particular wiper so in this wiper there is a limiting switch there is a battery and there is a wiper switch when you turn on the wiper switch that time the current sends from battery towards a uh, towards the motor of the wiper then mo motor start rotating and due to which what will happen a windscreen wiper starts oscillating so that mechanism is provided over here so limiting switch is a limiting the wiper angle and due to that which what will happen the certain portion of the glass will be cleaned and rain sensing rain sensor unit is there over here so in this particular rain sensor unit whenever the rain starts falling on the vehicle that time it senses that particular rain and automatically it starts oscillating the wiper starts oscillating and it it cleans the glass of the vehicle so for which we require the windscreen wiper so the next thing is that that is the speedometer so speedometer here is what we want out of our speedometer we have the car's wheels rotating at a certain speed and we want to know with a simple pointer and dial what that speed is so we need to con connect the spinning wheels to the pointer in some clever fashion 
even that is pretty tricky the wheels are racing around but the pointer some distance away merely flicks back and forth how do we convert continuous spinning motion into intermittent flickery pointer motion the answer is to the electromagnetism the shaft that turns the car wheels is connected to the speedometer by a long flexible cable made of twisted wires the cable is a bit like a mini drive shaft if one end of the cable rotates so does the other even though the cable is long and bendy at the top end the cable fits into the back of the speedometer when it rotates it turns a magnet inside the speedometer case at the same speed the magnet rotates inside a hollow metal cup known as the speed cup which is also free to rotate through or restrained by a fine coil of wires known as hairspin that is shown in this particular figure however the magnet and the speed cup are not connected together they are separated by air the speed cup is attached to the pointer that moves up and down the speedometer dial how does it all work as the speedometer cable rotates it turns the magnet at the same speed the spinning magnet creates a fluctuating magnetic field inside the speed cup and by the laws of electromagnetism that means the electric current flows inside the cup as well in effect the speed cup turns into a kind of electricity generator but unlike in a proper generator the kind that makes electricity for your home in a power plant the current in the speed cup have now nowhere to go there's nothing to carry their power away so the currents just swim about uselessly in the swirling eddies we call them as eddy currents for that very reason since the electric currents and there are moving in an electric conductor inside a magnetic field another law of electromagnetic says that they will create motion how the currents actually makes the speed cup rotate in such a way that it tries to catch up uh, with the spinning magnet but the hair spring stops the cup from rotating very far so it just turns a little bit instead pulling the pointer up and the dial as it does so the faster the car goes the faster the cable turns the quicker the magnet spins the bigger the eddy current it generates the greater the force on the speed cup and the more it's able to pull the pointer up the dial if you can if you can picture all that clearly take a look at this particular animation okay so when the engine turns over the drive shaft turns to make the wheel spin around the speedometer cable powered by the drive shaft turns as well the cable spins a magnet around at the same speed inside the speed cup the magnet rotates continuously in the same direction that is in the case counter clockwise the spinning magnet creates eddy currents in the speed cup the eddy currents make the speed cup rotate counter clockwise as well in the in an attempt to catch up with the magnet remember that the magnet and the speed cup are not joined together in any way there's air in between them so likewise this particular speedometer is going to work and which will give us the actual reading of the vehicle at what speed it is running in kilometer per hour so this particular device is a very important device in our vehicle 
and whenever a driver look at it then he comes to know that at what speed our vehicle is running and he also realizes at what particular road surface how much speed is required so this is the per perfect indicator to know the driver to balance his vehicle okay so likewise this particular speedometer is working so these are the references please refer thank you thank you